A conservative Wisconsin law firm is suing President Biden to stop student loan forgiveness. The Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty filed that suit against the president today, claiming that his plan is unconstitutional. Braden Ross has more. Once a loan is forgiven, it can't really be undone. The Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty is moving fast to stop student loan forgiveness. We need a judge to step in quickly and we hope that a judge will, and if not, we will appeal this all the way to the Supreme Court. Today, the conservative law firm announced a lawsuit against President Biden over his student loan forgiveness plan. Dan Lennington, an attorney on the suit, says it's all about the taxpayers. We think that that's just a breathtaking usurpation of congressional authority to tax and spend, and that we're not going to stand idly by while he does this. The lawsuit claims Biden doesn't have the authority to order student loan forgiveness in a program they say could cost up to a trillion dollars. It also argues the program is discriminatory because Biden has said it's specifically aimed at helping black borrowers. The idea there is that that our laws, our constitution need to be colorblind and our constitution demands that they're colorblind. The lawsuit is the third filed to challenge Biden's plan and as UW law professor Howard Schwaber explains, it might have teeth. Now this gets to a basic separation of powers question. With the current version of the Roberts Court. I think it's quite possible that if this goes to the Supreme Court, the challengers will win. For News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. And the suit asked that a judge immediately block forgiveness of student loans until that lawsuit plays out.